Hello and welcome everyone. Today we'll discuss the peak programming in embedded C language. Now programming is divided into two types or two levels. First is low level programming in that we have assembly language and high level programming. For example, C and C++, Java, Python, these languages comes under high level programming. Why C language? The C code or program is portable. Portability is the ability of a C code or program to run on different computers with different operating systems. That is, the C code is machine independent. There are different codes or programs available in the library. Usually those are header files. So those codes can be used by the programmers. C is easy to write, compile, debug and modify. It is a case sensitive language. So while writing the program, the programmer must take care of lower and upper case letters as it treats them differently. C language allows dynamic memory allocation and C is a procedure oriented language. Operators and data types in C. Table shows the operator symbols with their type. There are different operators, unary operator, binary operator and ternary operator. Binary operators can be arithmetic operator, relational operator, logical operator, bitwise operator and assignment operator. There are three data types in C, primary data type, derived data type and user defined data type. So here few of the examples of data type are mentioned. Primary or fundamental data type can be integer, character, float. Gerard data type can be arrays, pointers, functions. And user defined data type can be structure and union. Now let us see the embedded C programs for PKTNF microcontroller. Write an embedded C program to send values 0, 0, 002 FF to port A. So this is a problem statement. So for this problem statement, this is the embedded C program. We have included the header file for PKTNF 4550 controller. After that, starting of the void main function. Here we have declared a variable I of unsigned character data type. In this program, we are used two registers. TRIS and port. TRIS A equals to 0x00. Here we are making port A as output port. 0x is for hexadecimal. For loop, initialization of i, i equals to 0. Then i is less than or equals to 255 and i plus plus. Then the value of i will be sent onto the port A. So sending the values to the port A and the program will end with the while 1 which means stay here forever or if we want to run this program onto the hardware in that case we have to write while 1. Next write a C program to send hex values for ASCII characters 0 1 A B to port B. Here we are use my num as an array of unsigned character data type and in that array we have stored these characters 0 1 a and b again we have used two registers here tris and port tris will make the port b as output port by writing 00, 0 into the tri register and in order to send the data we'll use the register port. The character will be accessed by using i as an index and the ASCII values for those characters will be sent onto the port b and the program will end with the while 1. Write a program to toggle all the bits of port c continuously. First we'll make the port c as output port by writing 00 to it. Port c equals to 0x double 5 
So here we'll send the value to the port C. Then we'll call the delay of 250 millisecond. And again, we'll send the value or data double A to the port C. 